to give a couple of examples see most popular examples from the community and business front are very popular because i believe there are very few successful examples of companies mm -hmm. who have done that but from your point of view from your experience some stories which people have not heard of but you have found them really exciting for someone to really look at as a chief marketing officer uh yeah so one of them i actually detail in the book is is a personal story that me and my team uh went on over a multi-year journey uh but back in uh this was 2016 uh our b2b software company was participating in a uh, a market called the the DevOps market. This is targeting high uh, high velocity, uh, high quality software development practices. And at the time, the DevOps market was just starting to take hold uh, through, throughout the world, but still very uh, early in its maturity and evolution. Uh, and our company had solutions that they were selling into one small part of that uh, that market. Uh, as part of one of our go-to-market initiatives, we decided to uh, put on a conference and build a community around DevOps on a global basis. There were lots of regional, smaller meetings, conferences, what have you, that might attract 100 people, 200 people, and the largest might have been 700 people. Uh, and during that time, uh, when we decided the world actually needed and was really desiring education on this front, we put together a conference to say, um, we're going to teach everyone about DevOps. Uh, we're going to invite leaders that we know around the DevOps community around the world to come and share their knowledge uh, as part of this. We're going to do it on a global scale. The first year that we did this, it was a 15 hour event. The next year we went to 24 hours. So we did it around the clock so we could serve every geography uh, around the world. We promised no vendor pitches, but pure education. And from the idea that we had that we brought five friends in to work with us on uh, beginning September 1st to the first day that we executed uh, and hosted that conference, uh, we had 13,000 people participate in that uh, in that first event. That was the start of a very large community movement that my friends and I ran uh, as part of our work at the company uh, at the time, Sonatype. Uh, and we ran that event and community for five years, and it grew to over 100,000 participants uh, as part of that. So... That there's one part of it, which is how to actually grow a community and what you do to serve that community. There's another part of it, which is how do you take what we did in that community and then say, okay, you have this very large audience. How do you actually connect that to the demand generation engines within the, the company? Uh, and in the book, I talk about several playbooks that that we ran uh, and I've run at other companies uh, or I've seen in the market that connect community with demand gen in ways that are respectful to the community uh, and helpful to the community uh, and, and grow that community. But we started off by being very helpful to the large market that we were participating in uh, that went beyond much further beyond the the core product that we were selling uh, and really focused on this community at large, but that benefited us tremendously, generating millions of dollars in sales every year.